My process is to think conceptually and build intuition. But once I build that intuition, I then have to verify that it's correct by doing a calculation. And that is precisely what I did in my paper, A Differential Geometric Approach to Quantum Ignorance Consistent with Entropic Properties of Statistical Mechanics. I had this intuition about this idea of symmetry and entropy. And it was, and it was merely the idea of this. More information, less information. Less symmetry more symmetry. In the case of quantum mechanics, the information that I have is contained within our quantum states, which we call density operators. And you can compute the amount of information in a density operator using the von Neumann entropy. So the idea was, is that for each density operator, there exist these things called purifications. And purifications are precisely higher dimensional, higher resolution quantum states that are consistent with the macro information contained within a density operator. So in quantum mechanics, you can always take a density operator that's not pure, meaning that it has some missing information, and you can assume that it came from some higher dimensional quantum state, and we call these purifications. And these pure states, these purifications, they have zero entropy. So that means they have zero missing information. But the problem is, is that for any density operator, there are many purifications associated with that density operator. And you can generate these purifications using these things called Lie group symmetries. And so you generate the purifications associated with the density operator using a symmetry group. And the idea was, is that because these are Lie group symmetries, for those who are in the know, for those who are physicists or mathematicians, these are continuous smooth manifolds which means that I can construct a metric tensor associated with them. With the metric tensor, I can create something called a volume element, and then I can integrate that volume element to get a volume. So I can construct the manifold of purifications and then compute their volume. And the idea was is that if I compare the von Neumann entropy to the volume, then I should get the same relationship, which is that if there's more information, then you have less symmetry. And if there's less information, then you have more symmetry. And so the idea is I'm merely using the Lie group symmetries to compute the size of that. And if I'm correct, then the behavior of my volume should be consistent with the behavior of the von Neumann entropy. And when I did the calculation and I was able to show that my prediction was correct, that's where I was like, ha, I think I have something here. And no other physicist, as far as I can tell, thought to do this calculation or even thinks of entropy in terms of symmetry. This idea that entropy implies symmetry and vice versa is unique to me as far as I can tell.